guys and gals and welcome back to North Face Wanderer. Uh, out on an overnighter tonight. Um, the weather's good. And uh, it was a quick one, quick decision. It's about one o'clock now. Uh, so I thought I'd come out, grab the camping gear from the shed, got in the car, and an hour and a half later, I'm at the location. Can anyone say, or anyone know where exactly I am at the moment? I know you can see is a, a stone dry wall behind me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna show you the fuse. Like we say, it's all about the fuse. So here we go. Water, Pooley Bridge. Yes, I'm on Hallam Fell. I'm out here again with my little friend, Fudgy. Fudgy. Oi. Say hello. Hello. And we're out for an overnighter. It's a bit windy at the moment. Uh, but it's not too bad. Um, gonna stay under the tarp. So I'm gonna look for a nice sheltered spot. A lot of videos I've watched where guys have come up here. Uh, they've tended to pitch their tents, tents, here. Um, Andy, if you're watching this, mate, I think there's still a bit of a dent when you, where your ass was, mate. I'm sure that was where your ass was. Anyway, look at that, look. Fucking tea bags. Take them home with you, guys. They're not biodegradable. Okay, so, another one there, and another one there. Jesus. Don't know if you can hear me over the wind. A bit blowy. Uh, that looks like a good place to pitch down in there or on the other side of the obelisk. Uh, the weather forecast for today, uh, they said it's going to be pretty bad tonight. Hang on, I just need to call Fudge back. Fudge! Come here. Up. Up. Stay. Uh, the weather forecast they say tonight is uh, going to be quite bad. Wind's coming in. Um, and uh, they reckon they're going to get a dump in the snow. Uh, as you can see by the hills, not a lot left on there. Uh, but, you know, you never know. So I'll just have to prepare. So I'm looking like down there in a moment. Uh, that looks like it's out of the wind, but the wind could change. I'm on a nice flat surface this time, so I'm not sliding out of my bloody basher or my tarp. But I'll have a quick scout round and then see uh, what I can find and I'll get back to you guys. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye bye.
just love the lakes. I just love being in the lakes. Nice and quiet. All you can hear is the wind, the water, the river, the odd car going along the road, but it's just bliss. Fantastic. So glad that I came out. I mean, just take a look at that. Right? So here we are folks, we're inside the shelter now. It's all uh, all set up. Um, as you can see, there's my few. Ventilation from the back, that'll be blocked up tonight with my uh, Bergen. That'll be blocking that up so I won't get too cold, but it's just for ventilation really. Um, I've pegged down some of the guys with rocks and I've put a couple of rocks on the side just in case it gets a bit blowy. Um, sleeping arrangements, as you can see, just move fudge. One of these thermal windscreen uh, protectors, really good. Uh, I have my Scandalite, just see where the name is, a Scandica outdoor mat. An army uh, bivy bag, keep me seating bag dry. And then I have a Softy 12 uh, snug pack sleeping bag which does the job uh, so that's me um, so all I need to do now is get Fudgy's stuff in she sleeps on a canoe bag with a poncho liner and this time because she got a little bit cold last time uh, I've brought her a little hot water bottle so I've been knocking that out for her so she can lay on top of that as well tonight uh, but she's quite happy she'll sleep anywhere and she's also got something else which I'll show you later on um, but other than that, that's me, uh, nice and comfy. So I think it's time for a brew and a bicky. So I'm now gonna leave you, get the uh, cooker on, make a brew, have a bicky. So I'll see you soon guys, bye bye. Welcome back. So, like I said, brew's on, water's getting hot. Budgie's waiting for a biscuit. Yeah, give her a biscuit. Oh, only half of one there. There's the other bit. Um, what am I drinking? I'm drinking these. My wife's got me onto these. Well, she hasn't actually got me onto these. She's buying them for herself and I've been drinking them. Um, that's a mocha, so that's a chocolate one. Uh, but you can get vanilla, skilly latte, latte, espresso, etc, etc. And they're nice. I think you get about six, seven in a box. I can't remember the price, but they're easy, bring them along, uh, put them in there, wait for your water to boil, box your uncle, nice brew. Uh, just looking over towards Hellfellen, that cloud's starting to come over a little bit, um, so I don't know what it's going to be bringing. But I'm all set up now, the tent's there, uh, at the back there you can see I've just uh, pinned it down with some rocks using bungees or elastic cords. Uh, if you don't know what don't know what a bungee is, and then at the front it's got a uh, rock on the guy rope holding it back, and I've just pinned back the doors for now. Um, and what I'll do is when I actually get my head down or going, then I will obviously put pin them down with some pegs. Uh, not that many people have been up here. Had a few, had a couple walk through my bloody time lapse, but they didn't know it was there. So I'm not that bothered. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get another one, but it's not, you're looking at the skies, not that uh, eventful really. Um, so, like I said, brew time, biscuit time, sort out my kit, and then uh, have a little explore. So I'll see you in a minute.
Right guys, uh, it's 10 past four and we're starting to lose the light. So it's time to get on the scoff, scran, food, whatever you like to call it, dinner. Um, so tonight's gonna be a, a korma curry. So it's that time again, play that crazy chef. Okay then guys, first thing that uh, I've done is I've lit in the uh, cooker. I've lit in, I've lit in, is that good English? The first thing I've done is I've lit the cooker. I don't know where, don't know where that came from. Um, and then just gonna add some oil into the base of this. There we go, keep some for the morning. Spread that around, get that on the co, get that nice and hot. What I've got here, in the bag is a cook, sorry, I'll just let you see. Cook fried beef, quick fried beef, I should say. Just move that out of the way. Um, and that will go into the pan once the oil is nice and hot. I made myself a little bit of a windbreak here. Uh, that temperature is starting to really drop now. Um, I haven't had to wear any warm clothing at the present, but I'm contemplating on putting on my softy because that wind it's starting to get quite cold. And as you can see by the mountains on the far side, the clouds starting to come in. So I've had a look at the weather forecast as well, and it does say snow. So this may be the last time you ever hear of me. Hopefully you could hear that cooking away. What I'm gonna do is try and put you up here. And down. How's that? How's that look? Is that a butcher's? Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, right. And then I'm going to add the beef. So I get a nice sizzle out of this. Oh, yeah. Just like that. I like fudge. Fudge is. Okay, put that in there. Using the wrong thing. So get my little spatula out. There we go. Little spatula. I'm going to let that brown off. Okay, brown off. Right, let that cook. There we go. So you have a look at that. That's slowly browning off in there. So mm, lovely. There we go, still browning away. Uh during that little interlude, um, decided to get my warm kit on. Told Fudge to get her warm kit on. Up. Uh, and she's got a little surprise for me. Look at this. She wants to be called Private Fudge from now on of the 1st Battalion Doggy Regiment. She says she's joining the army. I don't know. What do you think? It's a bit short. Your mum got the wrong size, didn't she? but it'll keep her warm. But yeah, that is now private fudge, isn't it? Yeah, well make sure you follow me orders, dog, and stay there, stop chasing the sheep. Anyway, back to the food. There we go. I'll bring it back when it's ready to put the sauce in. Okay then, that's nicely uh, browned off. So what I'm gonna do is add the korma sauce. I mean, I'm not a really spicy person, I like, I do like spicy food, but not that much. And when we go out for an Indian, it's normally Wendy that picks my food for me, because I find that if it's too hot, I think the spices ruin it. So that's why I'm having a korma today. In goes the korma. Yes, I know what it looks like. You don't need to tell me. Get that out of the bag. Come on, there you come. I don't know if my hand's in the way. I don't want to make a mess of this. There you come. I mean, I love putting everything in bags. It just saves on the rubbish. It really does. Let's get this out. Come on. There we go. Right, I'm going to turn that inside out. Fudge, eat that. So, 
exhaust is in, so I'm going to give that a good stir. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is put the lid on and then look, let that cook through for about 10 minutes. So there we go, on you go. Oh, a little bit steamed up there. So that's boiled away really nicely. So that's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is take that off now. It's probably a little bit too hot. Um, and now I'm going to do the rice. So uh, that's coming off. Let's get that off. Stick that to one side for now. Stick the water on for the rice. As you can see, it's got ice in it. Uh, get out, you eating me grub. Wait till it's served, dog. Yeah, I know what you're like. Yeah, you can have that. Have that. Good girl. So we'll wait for that to get uh, hot. Then we're going to dump the rice in there. And then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, etc. etc. So I've just retired to the shelter of the tarp. But as you can see, I'll just put you outside. We've got that mist that's come through. And with that mist, there's a little bit of misty rain. So I thought, let's get back into the tarp and finish off in here. But I've got the cooker right out on the outside, so condensation, all the steam was going to go outside. The next thing we're going to do, I've got the water boiling, is stick the rice in. There it goes, there we go. Well, there we go, guys, finished product. A nice korma curry, bit of garlic naan, a nice bottle with red wine. With that view. Ruined by private fudge waiting for hers. Go on in private fudge. Fudgies. Good girl. So, it's getting quite dark now guys, but obviously the camera doesn't uh, show it. So, I'm gonna have me scoff and then uh, I'll get back to you. So, all the best. Okay, there we go, it's half past five. So the nights are getting a bit longer, slowly. Um, but as you can see, the weather's coming in now. Uh, just show you some of the light. It's amazing how the camera doesn't make it look as dark as what it is. Um, wind's got up a little bit and it started raining, not snowing, but rain. Goth's all gone. Private Fudge is eating hers, cleaned all the plates, done the ablutions. So that's all sorted. I've just been around and uh, just put some rocks around on the windward side of the tent. It's changed slightly. Originally it was coming from that area there where the rocks are on top of that hill. But it's just come round slightly. So it's just coming off the edge of the hill there. So I've just put some rocks down on the pegs here um, just to keep it down. But other than that, nice and cosy under there. Fudge is under there at the moment. Uh, she's got a hot water bottle. So I've made that up for her. So she should be fine tonight. So guys, um, this is gonna end now. Uh, and hopefully, um, I'll see you in the morning. So from me and Fudge, sorry, from me and Private Fudge, uh, I'll catch you in the morning guys. Take care. Okay, uh, I'm back with the car now. There's Fudge. Uh, it's 20 past 11. I've been beaten again. The wind, uh, the wind, the wind on top of that hill was outrageous. It wasn't the type of weather for a tarp. And you know, in hindsight, I should have brought me tent. But that's you know, I've learnt a lesson there. Um, I mean, it was that windy packing away in that rain and that wind. I lost my uh, thermal matting. That that disappeared. That went. That's, if you find it, guys, have it. It's disappeared towards uh, Pooley Bridge. Uh, but I mean, I was tinkering with the idea of coming down and uh, sleeping in the car. But I mean, why have an uncomfortable night when you know I might as well do a an hour and a half drive and uh, go home and wake the wife up. She's gonna be really pleased. 
So, uh, a quick, obviously a quick video. I managed to get some drone footage, uh, even that the wind was a bit, uh, a bit much for the drone. But I managed to get some, that's, that's, that's the second outing for the drone. Uh, so, sorry about that, um, but I just had to come down off the hill. Too windy, even one of me walking poles got bent and you've got to have two walking poles or at least one working walking pole to have a decent uh, tarp. So I'm going to have to be purchasing some new ones of them. So um, I'm going to end the video here. Again, like, share and subscribe if you liked it. I'm glad that you stuck with me. It's a short one, but what can you do, guys? The weather got the better of me. Next time, it'll be a tent or better poles for the top. Okay, so from me, it's goodbye. And from Private Fudgy, who's getting a red down, it's bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Fudgy. Bye-bye. See you later, guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, give me some food. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hey, Fudgies. <laughs> look at the state of her. She's got it in her hair and everything. Private Fudge, look at the state of you. Okay? If you turn up on parade like that, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay, you'll be at the guard room at 1800 and 2200 hours tonight. You need to sort your shit out, dog. <laughs> Get away. Come here.